Morning church, Pastor Brandon here as we jump into Ephesians chapter 4 this morning beginning in verse 1. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. I'm going to stop there and we'll pick up there tomorrow. But I want to start here. Paul is talking about uh, being submissive to the Lord when he says a prisoner to the Lord. And then he urges us to live a life worthy of the calling we have received. That calling is that we are called to be Christians, followers of Christ. And then he goes on to tell us how to do that. Uh, we've talked about unity the last couple of days before the weekend, and now we're, we're building up here. And as we tomorrow, we're going to look at really what he's talking about, being unified, being one in God. Uh, and here's what he says. He, to do this, to live worthy of the life we're called, it's not about doing good deeds and things like that, although we're saved for those things. Here's what it means. Be completely humble and gentle. In our culture, Christians right now have an opportunity to minister to others, just like Paul was calling these Ephesians to minister to one another and minister within their culture. And to do that, it began with humbleness and gentleness. It, be, it also followed up with being patient, bearing with one another. Bearing with one another just means that you and I aren't always going to agree on everything, um, but we need to bear with one another. We need to love one another. It begins with that love and patience, and then we have to bear with one another, especially through our differences and through difficult times. And then it says, make every effort effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. And through, so it's through bringing peace and being peacemakers that we're going to bring unity. Uh, so that's where we're going to stop today, and then tomorrow morning we're going to pick up right there. I'll see you tomorrow, church.